Welcome back to Sunny's Amazing and Strange Facts. Ever wonder why the Eiffel Tower, a symbol of love and romance, was once considered a monstrosity? Now that's a question that might just turn some heads. As hard as it is to believe this towering symbol of Paris, this icon of France, was not always the beloved landmark we know today. When the plans for the Eiffel Tower were first announced, the public reaction was far from favorable. In fact, it was downright hostile. An open letter published in 1887, signed by some of the most prominent figures in the Parisian artistic community, called the proposed tower, useless and monstrous. A giddy, ridiculous tower dominating Paris like a gigantic black smokestack. The outrage was palpable. Paris, a city known for its classical beauty, its grand boulevards and ornate architecture, was about to be marred by what many considered an eyesore. The tower, they argued, was a stark departure from the traditional aesthetic of the city, a steel monstrosity that would overshadow the city's historic skyline. But it wasn't just about aesthetics, there were practical concerns too. Many feared that the tower, standing at a colossal 300 meters, would become a navigational hazard for the emerging field of aviation. Others were concerned about the structural integrity of such a tall building, fearing that it might collapse under its own weight. And yet despite the fierce opposition, the project pressed on. The man behind the tower, Gustav Eiffel, was undeterred by the controversy. He believed in his vision, in the potential of his ambitious project. He saw the tower not as a monstrosity, but as a testament to the advancements of modern engineering, a symbol of human achievement. In the face of adversity, Eiffel stood firm. He defended his project, arguing that the tower would demonstrate France's industrial prowess to the world. And so, despite the initial backlash, the tower stood strong, ready to mark a new chapter in architectural history. Imagine Paris, 1887. The city is buzzing with anticipation and skepticism as construction of the Eiffel Tower begins. Envision the scene, a sprawling cityscape, the Seine River meandering through, and at the heart of it all, the birth of a landmark that would soon become an icon. This is the inception of the Eiffel Tower, an ambitious project that would transform the Paris skyline forever. This colossal task was entrusted to the engineering genius, Gustave Eiffel, and his dedicated team. Their mission? To construct the tallest man-made structure that the world had ever seen. But it wasn't just about breaking records. It was about showcasing the prowess of French engineering and the potential of iron as a building material. The construction of the Eiffel Tower was a marvel in its own right. Over 7,000 metric tons of iron, held together by over 2 million rivets, all assembled with an accuracy of a mere tenth of a millimeter. The tower was built in stages, with the four legs constructed first, followed by the assembly of the iron latticework, piece by piece. Despite the gigantic scale of the project, the construction period was surprisingly short. In a span of just two years, two months, and five days, the Eiffel Tower sprang up from the banks of the Seine, standing tall at a staggering 300 meters. Even more remarkable, this feat was accomplished without the loss of a single worker's life a testament to the exceptional planning and safety measures put in place. But the completion of the Eiffel Tower was met with mixed reactions. While some marveled at the engineering feat, others criticized its unconventional design. Yet none could deny the grandeur of this towering structure, forever changing the face of Paris. By 1889 the world had its eyes on Paris as the Eiffel Tower was unveiled to the public. This was the birth of a landmark, a symbol of human ingenuity and the spirit of progress. A testament to the fact that when we dare to dream big and work tirelessly, we can indeed reach for the skies. From World War II to the digital age, the Eiffel Tower has stood as a silent witness to history. This grand iron latticework has seen the world change before its very eyes, playing different roles as the years have rolled by. During the tumultuous days of World War I, the Eiffel Tower found a new purpose as a radio transmission tower. It became a vital link sending out signals and messages that carried the hopes and fears of a nation at war. The iron edifice was no longer just a symbol of French ingenuity, but a beacon of resilience in the face of adversity. When World War II darkened Europe's doorstep, the Eiffel Tower faced yet another challenge. As the Nazis occupied Paris, there were plans to demolish this iconic landmark. Yet, in an act of defiance, the French reportedly cut the lift cables, making it difficult for the invaders to reach the top. 
Despite the turmoil, the Eiffel Tower stood firm, a silent testament to the unyielding spirit of the French people. In the post-war years, the Eiffel Tower emerged from the ashes of conflict, ready to embrace the future. As the world stepped into the space age, the Eiffel Tower donned a new hat serving as a transmission point for television signals. In the twinkling cityscape of Paris, the tower's lights became a beacon, a symbol of progress and innovation. In the digital age, the Eiffel Tower continues to evolve. It's now a hotspot for tourists armed with smartphones, capturing their memories against its towering backdrop. From its top, one can see the sprawling city of Paris, a testament to the ever-changing world we live in. Through it all, the Eiffel Tower remains a symbol of resilience and innovation. It's a reminder of our ability to adapt, to endure, and to look ahead. From its iron girders and bolts, we can draw inspiration, understanding that like this magnificent tower, we too can stand tall through the ages. Today, the Eiffel Tower is more than just a piece of architecture. It's a symbol, a beacon, and a testament to human ingenuity. Rising above the Parisian skyline, it stands as a testament to our ability to dream and to turn those dreams into reality. More than a century after its construction, the Eiffel Tower serves a multitude of purposes. It's not just a tourist attraction, although it certainly is that, drawing in millions of visitors each year from all corners of the globe. It's also a broadcasting tower, sending out signals for both radio and television. But more than anything, the Eiffel Tower has become a cultural icon. It's a symbol of Paris, of France, and of the grandeur of human achievement. Its image graces countless postcards, travel brochures, and social media feeds. It's been immortalized in film, literature, and art, serving as a backdrop for countless stories and a muse for artists around the world. The Eiffel Tower is also a testament to the power of preservation. Despite initial controversy, numerous threats of demolition and the ravages of time, it still stands tall, a testament to the vision of its creator, Gustav Eiffel, and to the determination of the people who have cared for it over the years. In the world of travel and tourism, the Eiffel Tower holds a place of honor. It's one of the most visited paid monuments on the planet, with people from all walks of life making the pilgrimage to stand beneath its towering form, to ascend to its dizzying heights, and to gaze out upon the city of Paris from its observation decks. The Eiffel Tower is not just a structure of iron and rivets, it's a symbol of human tenacity, of our ability to dream big and to bring those dreams into reality. It stands as a reminder of what we are capable of when we dare to imagine, to innovate and to build. It's a testament to our ability to create, to innovate and to leave a lasting mark on the world. But let's not forget the Eiffel Tower, this symbol of Paris, almost didn't exist. Its birth was not without controversy. Many Parisians initially detested the idea, labeling it as an eyesore. A stark contrast to the city's traditional architecture, the tower's modern design was a hard pill to swallow. But Gustave Eiffel, the man behind the masterpiece, persevered. Despite the backlash, he pushed forward, constructing this iron giant in just over two years. The tower that was once an object of scorn has now stood the test of time. It's seen the world change, from the world wars to the digital age and it remains standing tall, an unyielding symbol of the city's resilience. Today it's more than just a landmark, it's a testament to human innovation and the power of perseverance. It's a reminder that sometimes the things we resist the most become our greatest achievements. So, what does the Eiffel Tower mean to you? Is it a symbol of human accomplishment, a testament to architectural grandeur, or perhaps a monument of historical significance? It's your turn to share. We've walked through the construction, the history, and the near misses of this iconic Parisian landmark together. Now, I'm curious to hear your thoughts and experiences. Have you ever visited the Eiffel Tower? Felt the cold steel under your touch or looked out over Paris from its dizzying heights? Or maybe it's still on your bucket list waiting to be ticked off. Whatever your story, we'd love to hear it. Leave a comment below. Tell us what the Eiffel Tower means to you. And if you found this journey fascinating, why not share it with your friends? Also give the video a like and subscribe for more great videos just like this. Remember, like the Eiffel Tower, we all have the ability to stand tall, make a difference, and leave a lasting mark on the world. Thank you for watching.